Hi, I'm Marcel Ulrich, Product Manager at Pepperell & Fuchs. I'm the Product Manager for X-Series Inductive Sensors, the Piledriver Inductive Sensor Family, Positrack Absolute Linear Positioning Systems, and also PNF's Ultrasonic Sensor Line. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Piledriver, the toughest proximity sensor in the industry. In 1959, in response to uh, industry calls for a sensing device more durable than mechanical switches, Pepperell and Fuchs created the world's first proximity sensor. Uh, the proximity sensor, being a non-contact product, lasted much longer while achieving the same end stop, counting, positioning, uh, all the different elements that uh, were originally achieved by mechanical switches. As time went on, Pepperell and Fuchs continued to listen to industry in creating many different variations of the inductive sensor. In the mid-90s, uh, there was quite a call for getting products proximity sensors which lasted longer uh, than the traditional plastic face proximity switch. At that time, Pepperell and Fuchs began putting together the criteria it felt necessary uh, for a more durable product and one that ultimately became the pile driver. Our presentation today is going to take a look at the factors that drove Pepperell and Fuchs to create the pile driver, how it fares against its competition, what makes it special, and also some of the different special variations we've created along the way for different industries. In my hand, I'm holding a proximity switch that's incurred some damage. If you look at the face, or lack thereof, you can see the core, you can see the coil. Uh, the proximity switch at that point becomes non-functional and in most cases will latch on. It needs replaced. How people in the past, maybe circa 1992, 3, 4, 5, and, and previous, how you would fix that is to take your proximity switch and thread on a plastic cap. The plastic cap then, of course, protects the face and the sensor lasts longer. It doesn't last forever, but it does last a little longer. There are two main drawbacks to the cap then, of course. The first drawback is you lose sensing range. When you put the cap on, you lose 20-30% of your range. That means you have to control your tolerances of your material much better to have accurate sensing. The most important drawback is, of course, the face gets worn off. So maybe this with a, with a plastic cap lasts longer, but it gets hit more often and the plastic wears off. A second add-on way to extend the life of a proximity switch is to take something like this, which is called an exchanger bracket. Uh, the exchanger bracket has a small lip on the inside, and when you place a proximity switch inside it, it recesses maybe a half a millimeter. And what that does, if you go to hit the face, it doesn't really contact the switch. Uh, you take this on the back, screw this piece in here, and what's nice about it is after your sensor ultimately does get beaten up, in which it will because it's still a plastic face product and most of the face is exposed, you can simply take it out, put a new one in, and you don't have to mess with the mounting at all. It mounts exactly in the same position it was in before. Unfortunately, uh, Pepperell and Fuchs looked at this and decided it was the wrong way to go about solving the problem. All this does is allow you to quickly replace a sensor. So you decrease your change out time, maybe you extend the life of the product a little bit more, but in the end, you're still replacing proximity sensors. Pepperell and Fuchs decided there had to be a better way to solve the issue of wear. Uh, adaptations and modifications that slightly prolong the life of a product or expedited how quickly you could replace the product weren't real solutions. That's where the pile driver came in. Why is pile driver the toughest inductive sensor on the market? Let's take a look at its construction and see why. The first most important thing you see on a pile driver is its sensing face. It has a thick 0.7 millimeter sensing face which allows it to withstand tremendous punishment. 0.7 millimeters doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a little more than half the thickness of a dime. I've got a piece here that you can see. Very tough. Not a foil by any stretch. Very durable. 
The second thing we want to take a look at with a pile driver is how it's built inside because it isn't just the face, it's the whole product that makes the pile driver special. Inside the sensor, the first thing we want to take a look at is the silicone on the PCB. A lot of manufacturers skip that process because it takes time and time is money. With Pepperell and Fuchs, we silicone these boards and what the silicone does is it protects the components from thermal expansion, contraction, shock and vibration. That allows the sensor to survive the very toughest industrial environments. After that, we want to take a look at how the product is encapsulated. After you have the board siliconed, you need to fill every crevice of the pile driver with an encapsulant. What that full encapsulation does, first of all, it protects from any angle, any entrance point. There's no way that water can wick in. Beyond that, it also gives the pile driver stability so that when it gets hit, there's nothing to move on the inside. You can pound this thing like a hammer, we'll see that in a short while, and there's no damage that's incurred in, inside the sensor. Some of our competitors' products, which have very soft encapsulants, or in some cases no encapsulants at all, uh, do not withstand the shock and vibration that a pile driver can withstand. Another thing, <clears throat> we want to get down again to the circuit board level, the pile driver has excellent immunity to industrial transients. Uh, when you have lathes, when you have machining processes, drill presses, motor drives, things like that, an industrial environment is not electrically all that kind to sensors sometimes. And many competitors' products uh, have issues when placed in industrial environments. They work great on your desktop, you plug it into a machine, and all of a sudden the output LED triggers on and off. That's something we wanted to avoid with pile driver and we've taken extra care to make sure it's very robust electrically and mechanically. And the last thing I'm going to mention that we'll see in a short bit is the coating that we put on a pile driver uh, which repels weld slag. So when pile drivers are commonly used in weld environments where there's explosions of hot molten metal, uh, we don't want that damaging the sensor, we don't want it sticking to the sensor. So we'll see how pile driver, that's one of our adaptations that's made pile driver great for the welding industry.